let's take a uh, deletion from a link queue and we will write the coding for that <clears throat> in our last session uh, we looked at the concept of uh, deletion from a link queue and uh, we looked at the algorithm and how uh, a node from the link list uh, link queue will be deleted right today we'll take up the coding for that hash include Okay, now this is the structure, struct node, you have got int info and uh, a pointer, this node pointer uh, link, and then uh, the front pointer, new ptr, then you have ptr, then you have rear. These are the pointers we need, right? Node pointer create new node. Here you will pass the integer information, and uh, then you have void insert queue. This is the whole uh, program actually. Insert queue where you pass the address, right? And now we look at the delete function. The delete uh, function is here. Delete, let's say node. And for delete node, you don't have to pass any parameters at all. Then you have the void display function, in which you again pass the address of a node. That is the node uh, address of the front node, right? These are the prototypes we need. The main function, first of all, uh, the queue is uh, empty, so front is equal to rear is equal to null. Then we take int, int inf, uh, int inf, right, care ch is equal to let's say y and here I have the loop uh, this loop is basically for the insertion in the last session uh, we looked at uh, the coding for uh, inserting into a linked queue this is the same one so I'll not write the whole code here uh, while choice is equal to y or choice is equal to capital Y let's say this is the insertion part right so basically here we ask the user to enter the information for the new node and uh, in this particular uh, function where the user enters, enters the uh, information the create new node function is called new ptr is equal to create new node that is the same that we had written earlier and here you will pass this inf right and uh, once that is done if new ptr is equal to equal to null then uh, see out new node not created and end in and uh, exit right exit one after that you insert the uh, node so you call the insert queue function and you pass this uh, new ptr in this right and then uh, after inserting the new node, see out. Do you want to insert more nodes in the queue? And then C in C H, right? So that finishes the first while loop that is for the insertion. 
end of the while loop for inserting a node in the queue, right? This, uh, the functions that we have uh, written here that we are calling here, this create new node function and the insert queue function, both these functions we have discussed in our earlier videos, right? So now I'll come to the deletion part. This is for clearing the screen, system CLS, right? If you use the conu.h header file, then it is clr cr. Again, a loop here. First of all, we display the uh, queue that is after after all the uh, nodes have been inserted before the deletion starts. We are just displaying this the linked queue is the same display function displaying the queue right and then and here uh, you will call the display function in the display function you will pass the address of the front node right so once it is displayed after that now we ask see out do you want to delete nodes from the queue right and then and uh, here you take c and ch here we have taken a do while loop uh, basically uh, you can also work with a while loop here if you want to work with a while loop in that case uh, before uh, starting with this loop right before after ending this uh, while loop for insertion at this point at this point i can give a while uh, sorry ch is equal to y once again and then i can use a while loop if i want right here supposing i write this uh, here after, before this, if I write again ch is equal to, I reinitialize that uh, because basically what happens is when we ask the user to enter the value for ch here, c in ch, that is at the end of the first loop, the user can enter either a y or a n. If he enters a n, in that case, this loop will close the earlier loop, that is this while loop for insertion. This will close, and when this loop close closes. Uh, sorry. Supposing in this case, here I had written this ch is equal to y, right? Okay. Now, what I'm trying to say is, supposing the user enters a no here, that is in this part, right? If he enters a n, right? In that case, when you come out of the loop, right? And if this initialization is not there, suppose you say this initialization is not there, right? This initialization is not there and we use a while loop supposing here instead of the do do loop do while loop I have a while loop right supposing I have a, a while loop here I write while choice is equal to equal to y or uh, or choice is equal to equal to y like this right in this case it will not work because the value of uh, ch is equal to n right uh, so basically for that purpose uh, they have taken we have taken a do while loop here so that the first time it enters the loop in any case whether the value is y or n for ch supposing you are not comfortable with using this do while loop and you want to use a while loop here then the thing that has to be done is before uh, starting this do uh, this uh, loop here that is at this point right you reinitialize the value of this as y, right? And then now here instead of the do while loop, now you can use the while loop. Understood? So I will uh, get along with this while loop now. I'll put this. Uh, let's write this while loop here. While choice is equal to equal to y, or uh, capital Y, you can write right. Okay, so now in this case the confusion will not come. It will enter the loop only when the choice is equal to y and choice is already initialized to y here, right?
do you want to delete nodes from the queue if the user enters y in that case so if choice is equal to equal to y or choice is equal to equal to a capital y in that case we call the delete node function uh, the prototype is delete node right you don't have to pass any parameter to that so just call the delete node function here delete node like this and now we'll write that delete node function this is uh, basically void delete node this is the function right and in this function uh, first of all we check if front is equal to equal to null if front is equal to equal to null that means the queue is empty nothing can be deleted right okay see out you can write here queue empty underflow right else if it is not null in that case we say ptr is equal to front we have a pointer ptr so we store the value of front in ptr now we say front is equal to front next front is equal to front next and then we say delete ptr basically here I have to store the value of uh, front in a no, in a pointer PTR. Supposing this is front here, I'll take just a minute. Suppose this is front, this is rear, and uh, let's say I've got two nodes here, right? First node, second node. Now let's say this is front. This has got the value twelve. Uh, sorry. Let's say this has the value 12 here and uh, let's say 56 or something. This is 56. This is 12. Here we have 56. Right. And here we have got null. This is the, this is the queue that we have. A, uh, something like this. Right. Right. Now, when we look at this, we want to delete the first node. We, see, we say PTR is equal to front. So, PTR becomes equal to 12, right? Front is equal to front next. Front becomes equal to the next of 12. The next of 12. What is the next of 12? 12 that is equal to 56. So, basically, now your front is rewritten. And this is rewritten with 56 here, right? And uh, when you do this, this uh, link is gone. This link is also gone. And here you have a new link now. 56 is here, right? Okay. After that, we have to uh, delete this node. This node is still existing, right? You have to delete this node physically. So, we say delete PTR. Delete PTR basically means delete 12, right? Delete the uh, node with address 12. So, now this node physically gets deleted, right if you don't store the address of the previous front in ptr and you just write front is equal to front next right in that case this address 12 that was initially there in front that would have lost that would have got lost right so we could not have deleted this node physically right so in order to do that first of all we store the earlier address whatever address is there in front that is stored in ptr and then we change the address of front front is equal to front next or i think we have taken front uh, link there so uh, whatever is that if it is link it will be link here whatever you have given in the structure right and delete ptr that will delete this right this is basically the delete node function once the node is deleted right once the node is deleted uh, that's that's basically the end of this we will delete the node and then we will close this while loop right so again the queue will be displayed right and then do you want to delete node again if the choice is again equal to y the node gets deleted another node gets deleted and then finally you can end your main function end of main here and this is the end of uh, this uh, end of the while loop for deletion right that's it the other functions that is uh, creating a new node inserting a node and displaying a node 
displaying the queue right these are all the same that we have done in the earlier uh, videos for insertion in a linked list so i will not repeat that here so i have just taken the deletion part in this case this is the delete node and this is how it happens so with that i'll come to the end of this session bye